This is Dave from Bay Stencil. Let's use a craft cutter to cut out the stencil we ordered from Bay Stencil. Specifically, we're going to use the SVG files that we downloaded from Bay Stencil to cut our stencil on a Cricut Air Explore 2. You can apply what you see here to any craft cutter, vinyl cutter, or laser cutter that accepts a vector file as input. Check the notes to see which cutters are compatible with vector format files. It's an incomplete list, but you can also check your cutter's instructions to see whether it supports vector file formats such as DXF, SVG, or EPS. The first thing I do is to decide which material I'm going to use for a stencil. Cardstock and Mylar work well. I use cardstock if I think I'll just use the stencil fewer than maybe 10 times and throw it away. For cardstock, I like to use 400 GSM or 120 pound cover. If I think I'll use the stencil again, or if the cardstock is tearing on the cutter, I'll use Mylar instead. You can also clean and reuse Mylar indefinitely. Mylar will stick around for generations, so keep that in mind when making your choice. For Mylar, I like 7 mil Mylar. If you can't find 7 mil Mylar, then 5 mil or 10 mil Mylar works pretty well. With your material in hand, you need to decide which layers you need to cut. As we saw before, a three color stencil may be composed of the background color plus two painted colors. So if you downloaded three cut files, you probably only need to cut two of them. Take for example, this image of a famous photographer. We'll reproduce it on a white background. So you just need to cut the mid-tone layer and the dark layer. We use Cricut's Design Studio to upload the image and then remove any components of the cut file that we don't want. In our case, we're going to remove some annotations for the layers in the SVG. Different cutter software treats vector files differently. Here is how Cricut Design Studio shows the DXF file, for example. Notice that there's a big solid box that is part of the image. I don't know why, but I'll have to delete this before I cut. Because these are vector files, we can make them as big or as small as we want. You're just limited by how thin your cutter can cut and how strong your material is. I've scaled these files down to about five inches by five inches with great success and I've also made them six feet tall. It's important that you cut all the layers at the same scale. In other words, you don't want to scale one of the layers up and not scale the other one up by exactly the same amount. Trust me, you do not want to eyeball this one. One way to make sure that you scale them the same is to select them both and scale them at the same time in whatever your design program is. We press the stencil material to the cutter mat. For these craft cutters, you're looking to strike a balance. If the material isn't stuck tight enough to the mat, then it's going to slip while cutting and game over. On the other hand, if it's stuck really tight, then when you're done cutting, you go to pull it off the mat and you tear the stencil because it's stuck too tight. After the cut is done, you carefully remove the stencil from the mat. I like to use a spatula or two for this part. Once the stencil has come free, I use the spatula again to remove any cut out pieces from the mat for the next run. Sometimes I cut out a few of the bridges that cover a large area or are just distracting. But I always look at all the bridges I plan to remove first before I cut any of them to make sure that the stencil will still be strong once you're done. I've made the mistake before of cutting out one bridge and then noticing later that it was the next bridge over that was really long, but by then it was too late. So once you have the cut areas done, you might want to enhance your stencils to make them easier to use. If I'm only going to use a stencil one time, I usually just cover the edges with an eye-shaped mask while I'm painting near an edge. But if I know that I'll use a stencil over and over, sometimes I build the extra masking onto the stencil itself. Okay, this should work. <laughs> 